when you add this swing weight, it brings the lift up. We want to know what the hitch height is to the middle of this hitch. Uh, if you have like a Grand Cherokee or I think a Chevy Colorado or a Traverse, bigger SUVs are going to require a drop hitch when you add a swing weight to it or it will not go all the way down to the ground. So make sure you get the right drop hitch when you order or there's, it's not going to go to the ground. You're going to spend more money on shipping, taking it back apart and doing different things. So an AL160 by Harmar Mobility. It does have the locking arm. It's in the family of the AL100. It's a lighter frame, so it has an opening right here and the scooter will overhang this. This is not for a power trip, it's for a scooter because of this locking arm. Very, very easy lift to use. We're just showing you the Amigo HD on this one. This lift would work for a lot of different cars. You just need to kind of give us a call at 803-926-2224 so we can determine what lift's gonna work best for you because there's a couple little things you gotta be aware of when you're ordering a lift. So let me show you how this works. Key, and you're just gonna press this rocker. These wheels sit down in here. This is set for his unit. This will probably come out just a little bit further. There's adjustments. You press this button. this down to where it's not lifting the car up. This came up a tiny bit. You just don't want it to overly lift it because it'll tear up the inside of this shaft and the motor. Uh, which can be fixed. It's not cheap, but you don't have to buy a whole new lift. These have a three-year warranty. So you would either, with this unit, drive off. We're just going to drive it right back. Put this to the side and kind of show you this lift really quick. So. The reason why you go with this lift over an AO100, a smaller scooter, or if you had a, a car that can, can't support too much weight back here, it's a tongue weight. Now when you order this, it's not about toe, it's about tongue. It's a big difference between tongue and toe. Your car might tow 3,500 pounds, but maybe only have a tongue weight of 300 pounds. So be very, very careful when you do that because it eventually can mess up the back end of your car. Um, this is a little scooter that he has, something similar to this. You know, you just take it, bring it right on. And then from there, you just press the up button. And his arm's gonna come. It's gonna come up, it's gonna lean a little bit, don't let that scare you. And then this button will come and lock it down. And then you can, once it brings it up, Tighten this up. So this, sorry, this button, this arm will come and hit this and lock. So you can ride it off or come back. Um, this unit has a swing away. We suggest a swing away with an SUV, a van, and this is a truck. And there's a lot of other lifts that can go on this truck. So we'll just bring it straight up. If the scooter was on it, this would come down, but since it's not, it would come up like this. Another reason why you might go with this over the Halo 100 is if you have backup cameras. Backup cameras in the center, this pole is going to block it. Backup cameras offset, sometimes it can see through here a little bit better. Um, but this has a swing away, so you always swing away with the lift off. You're going to pull your safety pin out. Pull this T-bar, and now you have rear access to your truck, to, or to whatever you have, SUV, and bring this back, take this, put your safety pin in, and you're done. So